<clears throat> Jake O'Harold's son taught stage two. This footage is dreadful, I'm sorry, but I thought you might actually want to see it instead of the footage that we didn't get yesterday for some reason, but apparently it's live streamed on Facebook. Anyway, so we have Pavel Sivakov up the road with Chris Harper, I believe. Um, like, Team Sky sort of dominated this race in some ways, um, just because they had so many guys. Um, so they had Sivakov, uh, Kenny Ellison, and Dylan Van Baal. And Dylan Van Baal is looking really solid. I reckon that the Spring Classic is going to go well. He's done well in the last couple of stages on the Corkscrew, on Corkscrew and um, Willunga, so I reckon he, he should go well, and he's doing well here. Um, but yeah, so they're just swapping turns. We've got the main favourites in the group behind, like Michael Woods, uh, Richie Port. I guess with Michigan Scott, um, we sip ahead here a little bit, and you see Kelly Alessand, the diminutive Frenchman, as they always call him, the cute lad. Um, anyway, he's on his wheel. Chris Harper's there. Um, and then you can see everyone else from Michigan Scott is chasing, trying to get Damien House in the win. Uh, if I'm not... I'm, I'm pretty sure Damien House won it last year. Um, uh, yeah, Domestique's cracking. Um, the, I mean, there's sort of three World Tour teams here um, who are really going to win. I guess four, maybe Michigan Scott, Trek, um, Sky... And EF Education first with Michael Woods. So Gap's not really coming down, still just going along. Um, just, you know, Team Sky seem to do this thing a lot where they attack. Well, they seem to, if they're not as strong as riders, they attack and then sort of like bridge, basically bridge across, I guess. Um, which is probably a sound sound tactic. Um, but yeah, this this race gets pretty interesting, goes on some good gravel. Uh, I always like the J.K. Harris Sun Tour when you can get some footage of it. Just because it's it seems like a really open race, it's always like quite fun to watch it. Um, and you know, I, I just I don't know. There's always something good about it. Like it's it's one of those races where you feel anyone can win. I remember like Team Sky a lot of like domestics like Luke Rose won it won a stage or whatever. And like it just seems like a really really fun race to do in some ways. Um, obviously I've never raced it, <laughs> but you know, like it just it just seems good vibes from it. Um, 186k to go apparently. Uh, no, this is 13 kilometers to go, and we're gonna we're gonna see. Michigan Scott aren't really setting a high enough tempo. Like, if you look, they're not exactly drafting. Kenny gets in this beautiful style. I absolutely love the man. Um, he's sort of down low. Dylan Van Baal is still um, just on the back looking pretty pretty good. I mean, he's a big lad, Dylan Van Baal. He's climbing well. Anyway, Michael Woods goes on the left-hand side of the road. Big attack. Um, only Richie Port can follow. And this is who I expected to, you know, I think everyone expected um, to really win. Team Sky doing this weird across-the-road sort of technique, trying to block the road maybe. Um, Damon House is now trying to launch to get across. Dylan Van Baal's just sitting there being like, yeet. I um, think I'll do all right here. Um, and then, yeah, the gap's been made, bridged up to the Team Sky boys, and then Michael Woods is going to go straight over the top, um, which I guess tactically was the best thing to do uh, because, like, you don't really want Kenny. Kenny's got a decent kick on him um, for a small guy, but it is, yeah, again, uh, you reckon Michael Woods would have both these guys in a sprint um, just because, you know, he's come top um, podium on the um, on Worlds with a good sprint. Um, so, yeah, uh, anyway, on the gravel part, Woods is just digging it. Kenny can't hold the wheel, and... A port can and that's pretty much the separation right there goes on the front drives it and cheerio uh i mean michael woods is looking incredibly strong maybe too strong maybe like for later that later in the season i'm not sure um but being richie port like really just drop it like look at the sort of gap he's putting into him already um richie port maybe he's just pacing himself maybe he's just riding within himself and not respond to these surges but even so um that's still pretty solid michael woods looks around and decides that you know what it's better to continue with another lad, um, because I'll probably be able to out-sprint him, um, but yeah, I mean, everyone else is blown to part, the race is blown to part, that's also what I like about the States, there's always, it's always blown to part, some good gravel roads here, not really sure it adds anything to it, but you know, I can imagine this would be horrible, wouldn't it, just finish your climb, these are the guys chasing, the other guys have done a solid descent, um, there wasn't really much to talk about on the descent, they just descended fast, the guys behind didn't have much cohesion in the chase, um, and yeah, a couple of Trek, Trek guys and, um, EF Education guys there who are going to disrupt the chase. 2k to go. You can see these guys on the front just swapping turns. I mean, I, I think they both committed. They realized that, you know, let, let's, you might as well do this. Um, get a couple bonus seconds and try and get a stage win. Um, in reality, those two guys are going to win the race. So this race, this is sort of academic of um, in positions. I mean, it's going to come down to one of the mountain top finishers. I, I think there is one. Can't remember. I haven't really looked at the, um, the race um, program because there's just about 7,000 races about to start everywhere. I've got Challenge Mallorca coming up, which will be pretty exciting. Uh, I believe this is 1k to go. Ticker slightly out. Um, footage is also out. But anyway, um, I'll try and describe what happens. Michael Woods basically... Oh, no, we still we still got a little bit to go. They start soft pedaling. Woodsy, get, Woodsy gets on the back. Port looks like an idiot. Woodsy just 
basically goes for it and uh, Richie Port can't respond. Uh, we're going to get some footage from 200 meters to go, I reckon, because they decided that it wasn't good to film the last, you know, 700 meters or wherever it was before they got to the um, 200 meters to go. But by that time, the sprint was already run and Michael Woods on a sort of, I guess it was downhill finish, probably 60, 65 k's an hour in the uh, cheerio. Um, maybe on an uphill finish, Richie Port might have a slightly better chance, but straight downhill. Here we go. This is the finish. It's a pretty short stage as well, three hours. I know, I know often Team Sky will ride there, ride back to try and get a five-hour day because, you know, World Tour races aren't three hours long. That's more like amateur races, I guess. But, you know, anyway, as we can see, just lights it up, done, completed it. Richie Port, nothing. Um, nothing to com to contend with, but that's fine. That's as, that's not who he is. He's not as punchy as uh, Michael Woods, who, you know, finished top three in the world, top three in Liège, I believe. So, you know, solid guy, solid rider. Looks pretty beaut, to be honest. I reckon he'll, I reckon he'll win this race, Michael Woods. Um, I reckon I have a pretty set, solid um, sort of thing. Kenny was sort of in the group between that. That's Dylan Van Baal coming on four, so Kenny was sort of just on his own, uh, which is pretty solid that he's managed to uh, keep up. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy uh, this video. Um, I reckon I'll do a Vuelta San Juan video either today or tomorrow. Depends on the time zone and when they upload it. Because uh, yesterday's the race was really early, so I could, I could do it um, yesterday instead of today. Um, but anyway, um, if I see any more footage from races, I'll always upload and might do some not race stuff, but you know, this seems to do quite well. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.